good morning, folks. A couple solar items to look at. Plus, we expect the program testing at our disaster app to present a peak in coronal hole score today. If so, the peak of the earthquake alerts will come today and be gone by Friday, with moderate risks lingering into next week due to Saturn conjoining the sun. We've got some interesting news articles, including a couple alternative topics we like to peek in on from time to time. But first, we are at spaceweathernews.com, and the last 24 hours on our star was not able to produce anything more than it was the last day. We did get a brief spate of puny C-class flare events, only notable in the slightest. And there is a new sunspot group this morning on the north. He is much smaller than the departing Umbra, but he's spreading and growing just in time to get out of Earth's way and head towards the limb. Spread magnetism thus far. Solar wind showing a couple very dense waves this morning, but it was simply bunched up particles in a slower stream and they presented no challenge for Earth's magnetosphere. All is calm this morning. Coming to the coronal holes, as I mentioned, it looks like the watch score should be peaking today as the largest portion of the opening faces Earth, still awaiting the solar wind stream from it as well. Top news beneath our feet while we wait is earthquakes swarming beneath Iceland, hopefully not readying for a blast. Greece is a bit above average this morning in terms of shaking, and we also have an unusual rumble in Yemen. This is from the National Accelerator Lab. They've been having fun shooting X-ray lasers at liquid particles and streams. Pretty cool job those guys have. The article is linked below. Read more about it. We're also getting word that the first United States company has submitted to bring disease-infected mosquitoes to the market so that they can infect and kill other mosquitoes. Something tells me our community is going to love that one. This too, apparently some folks in the UK are upset about fracking set to begin in the region. Shocker. Combinations of sadness and rage on the outside, one happy fat cat on the inside. In the central United States, last night, this was the scene. Kansas, Kansas, Kansas. In other states, flooding and hail played a role as a child was even swept away in Arkansas during high water. And folks, who wants to guess what's in store for tonight? The central low isn't moving, just taking warm, moist gulf air and slamming it into cooler, drier mountain air right there at its southeast edge. They mix up, find equilibrium, release energy, and drop bad weather as they go. Eyes open tonight. Folks, we're hoping to get another Deeper Look episode out on the website today. Spent some time thinking on Billy's latest Torella experiment, and I think we can say AC is a vastly better explanation for planetary geometry interactions than DC. That'll be coming today or tomorrow. Right now, we back out and take some macro views of pressure and radar forecast for the rest of the day. Also got some shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.